So then, me and Lauren have just got out of Star Wars. Got a lot to say. So then, Star Wars The Last Jedi. We've pretty much got home from seeing it about an hour ago, so I am very fresh on pretty much everything about the film. Now, I've got kind of one line that can pretty much sum up my entire thought process about this film, and that is essentially, The Last Jedi has the best Star Wars movie ever somewhere in there, but it needs a hell of a lot of editing to kind of pull it out. Now, I'm going to get into this a little more in depth, and I just kind of want to be very wary of spoilers, because this isn't going to be any spoilers in this video, hopefully. If they will, I'll edit them out, so no spoilers in this video, but I do want to do more of a spoiler-filled video, which I'll do after this, because a lot of my points are going to require spoilers, so yeah, keep that in mind. I'm going to try and be as vague as possible with this. So then, let's start with some of the basics, the characters. Now, all of our favourite Star Wars characters, minus Han Solo, are back. We've got Finn, Poe, Rey... Leia and now Luke and compared to the last film he does actually speak in this and has quite a major role which is very very good. We also of course have Kylo Ren and in this film for the first time a physical version of Supreme Leader Snoke. I do think that out of all of the characters in this new film there are perhaps three that stand out to me the most. Those are Poe, we basically start the film with Poe and he is still one of my favourite characters in, uh, what was the first film called? The Force Awakens. In The Force Awakens, I absolutely loved him as a character, and The Last Jedi, he just improves upon himself, and he has some incredible scenes that are just some of my favourite Star Wars moments ever. On that note, Luke and Rey are my other two characters. They basically have an entire narrative arc just between them, which is probably one of the best parts of the movie. I like to break the movie down into two separate sections, the Luke and Rey section, which has taken place on the island from the last movie, and then everything that's going on with the Rebellion. Now that is where I'm going to get into one of my problems, but before we do, I'll do a little bit more talking about Luke and Rey, because Luke is a very damaged man, and you can very much tell this in his character, the way he's acting and how he's kind of shut himself off from the world. Now, hopefully none of that is spoilers, I'm, I'm sure it's not because it's kind of, kind of what we knew from the last film, but you kind of get to see that developed a lot more in this, and when Rey comes along, and she's obviously very eager to get into the Force and become a Jedi, then we see some very interesting interactions between them, and the outcomes of them, they are very, very satisfying. Very satisfying. I, I can't even explain how good some of the ending scenes of the movie are. Best Star Wars moments ever for me, definitely. Now let's get on to my issues, because, well, my entire issues can be summed up with two characters. Um, unfortunately, it's Finn and the brand new character, Rose. Now, I've actually heard a few reviewers already say this, and it was a glaring problem for me when I actually was watching the film. There's basically an entire sub-narrative that's pointless. Absolutely pointless. It takes place on some boring planet where it, it kind of doesn't even feel like Star Wars at times. It, it almost feels like something like Valerian, where it's just this kind of weird world that doesn't quite feel like it fits in with everything else. It's got some really weird messages behind it, because at the end of the day, these scenes are pretty pointless. There's not really much meaning to them, apart from animal rights, I guess. This, ugh, they're just so bad, they kind of ruined that entire part of the movie. It's a very long film, like nearly two and a half hours. Cut all that out, get rid of it, don't need any of that, just focus on the Rebels and Luke and Rey. An amazing film, probably one of my favourite Star Wars movies of all time. When I get it on DVD, eventually, I'm always going to just fast forward through those sections because they just don't mean anything to me and they're just not what I want from the movie. It would be so much better without it. And that's sad to say, but yeah. A few other points I have, things like characters like Snoke and Captain Phasma, that will really go into some spoiler territory, so I'm not going to go into that there, but I did really like The Last Jedi, just when it does come to the stuff involving Finn and Rose, her name is. Yeah, maybe, maybe go to the bathroom or uh, go get some more popcorn. Or if you're watching this in the future, just fast forward through it. 
Ha. Huh. Bit of a shame, really, but an amazing film otherwise. Oh, in fact, I didn't even mention the end. I kind of mentioned it, but... Oh, my God. The ending is incredible. Like... Oh. The ending. I really can't go into it here. I'm going to have to do it in a spoiler review. I'll put that up in a couple of days. Be there. <laughs>